What's up my plant friends? Thanks for watching this video. I am about to show you what I use as a safe fertilizer on my carnivorous plants. And I am going to do a one gallon dilution, meaning that I am going to make one gallon's worth of fertilizer. And I am going to show you also how to spray the fertilizer onto a Venus flytrap, Nepenthes, and a Saracenia pitcher plant. So let's check this out. This is how the fertilizer looks like before dilution. It's very dry and we are going to use a half teaspoon uh, size of a nickel as you can see here as a size comparison. Distilled water or reverse osmosis water is best for your carnivorous plants. So this bottle is empty. What I'm going to do now is just grab a half teaspoon full of the fertilizer. That's how it looks like up close. Make sure it's flat on the top or near flat. You don't want to have a mountain build up on the top. We're going to drop that inside the one gallon jug. And this is how it looks like when it's dry inside. We're going to fill that up with some reverse osmosis water. The best thing to do with your fertilizer is close the cap tight and put it somewhere cool and away from direct sun. And now what we are going to do is pour some water inside our fertilizer jug. I don't think I have enough water to fill the whole one gallon jug. So I might need to make a trip to the store real quick. This is the filtration treatment system chart. Please feel free to pause that. I use Glacier Water Dispenser in front of Stater Brothers. And I am filling my jug up right now at the moment. It is a three gallon jug and 25 cents a gallon. So 75 cents to fill that up. This is a TDS meter. I purchased it from amazon.com. I will leave a link in the description down below. A TDS meter indicates the total dissolved solids of a solution the concentration of dissolved solid particles so this is at a 15 ppm which is perfect super perfect for carnivorous plants so we are going to fill the rest of the jug up not to the rim just maybe close to the top as if you would buy it at the store yeah i know i'm kind of messy with it but uh i'm doing it outside so it's okay so we're gonna close the cap on the bottle and uh, we are going to just examine the color real fast. Look at that, it's like a green tea color. Very organic looking. It's very good for your plants. So let's give it a good shake, shall we? Let's just shake it up a little bit and let's mix the components inside there. The more the better, you know, I'm done. So let's put that down and begin with the fertilizing. I am going to grab my spray bottle and fill it up with this fertilizer. This is my RL Flow Master Trigger Sprayer, purchased at my local hydroponics store. There is two modes to this sprayer, and it's a mist mode and a stream mode. These are the plants that I am going to be showing you guys how to fertilize. It's a Saracenia pitcher plant, a Nepenthes, and a Venus flytrap. Now let's look at them in closer detail. This is the Venus flytrap, and you really just want to have it on the misting uh, mode on these Venus flytraps. You want to spray them just so they get a little wet on the top, and these plants will absorb the fertilizer through the leaves. This is the Nepenthes, and I am going to grab my spray bottle and put it on the mist mode mist the leaves off just so they get wet on the top i don't want to hit the roots with it or put it in the soil top off some of the water inside the pitcher tubes for your best results now it's misted off put that to the side this is the saracenia hybrid that i got from saracenia crazy on instagram check his page out i will leave a link in the description down below back to the mist mode go ahead and spray the saracenia pitcher plant all the way to the top and again for best results throw some of this fertilizer inside the pitcher tube not all the way to the rim 
If the weight of the fertilizer is making your pitcher tube tilt to the left or right, take some out. I am putting maybe 40% up high, maybe halfway high up. Let me show you in closer detail. Um, you don't want your pitcher toppling over. So this is how it looks like. This is how much I put in there, which is around halfway up. And as you can see, it's still stable. It is a little harder to do that with these larger pitchers, but for seedlings, Saracenia, it's really easy. You could top them off. So here we go. These are the three plants that I fertilized with Maxi. We should see a growth spurt soon. Completely trusted by many carnivorous plant growers out there. And remember to always use the right amount when mixing this fertilizer. You don't want to overdo it and kill your plant. Half a teaspoon per gallon. I personally fertilize every two weeks, which is twice a month. Thanks for watching.